Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Got a pile of stuff. Not good for me. Summer's here. It's time to update everything for camping, fishing and whatnot season, including possibles pouches. We'll talk about that. And very important, first aid kits. Let's check it out. What got me on this live was, uh, remember Roaring Fire? They sent me a roll bag, which I turned into my Whittling tool roll bag. It's in my walkabout pack, you know, my sling bag, my possibles bag. Huh. This, however, is all my first aid and other things stuff. Now, I have three first aid kits. I have a fishing bag. I have a walkabout bag, camping bag. Now, the days of me going on a three-day walkabout camp are kind of gone. A couple of reasons. The pacemaker uh, can't wear a regular pack anymore because it sits right on the pacemaker, the strap. So I had to go to sling bags and couldn't find a big enough one. I'm kind of old to be doing that. So for me... Day walkabouts and trudges and car camping. I still need this. Got to go through it all. Now, a quick word on first aid. There is a lot out there on first aid kits. A lot. Everybody says, this is what you should have, yada, 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 yada. And I, oh, say hello to Mary. Yeah, she comes. Looking for trouble. What's up, girl? It's my first aid stuff. It's summer. Yeah. She's looking to see if anything's expired. <laughs> uh, first aid kits. Everybody has their idea of a first aid kit. Now, between you and me, there are certain things everybody should have in their first aid kit. However, some people need other stuff, not the stuff other people use. Basically, you got to change your first aid kit to suit your issues and what you need them for and what you go and do. It's got to match that. You can't just go to a store and buy a first aid kit and, whoo, no, don't work that way. You need to go through that kit and say, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that, now I've made space. What do I need? This is what I need. You would change yours accordingly. All I'm saying is, Check them out. Make sure everything's good. Have you got everything you need and nothing's expired? If so, update it. Let's do that. Back to Roaring Fire. This came in the mail. A pouch. A very cool pouch from Roaring Fire. I like this. And I think it's going to be my camping, I thought at first, Possible's pouch. But I'm going first aid. Then I'll do a Possible's pouch. What Roaring Fire sent me the Ember Pro Utility Organizer. And this is it here. Now, initially, when I got it, I thought, wow, this would be a great possibles pouch. And I put my possible stuff in a pile and I thought, but not for me. I tend to overpack. Plus, I have other thoughts on possibles pouches. I don't think the same way for a possibles pouch that other people do. For me, a possible's pouch slash bag, which is what they were initially by them trappers way back in the day, was a bag that they carried things when they were going to go hunting the trap lines or whatever they were doing. They carried what they needed for that task with a couple of other things. It was a possible's pouch that was filled with things I possibly may need. I don't have a pouch. I have a bag. When I go on a walkabout, I have a sling bag. That's my possibles pouch. It has everything I need for that walkabout, including essential in a possibles pouch. I go camping. Same thing. My possibles pouch is a pack. With everything I need, it's a longer period. I'm going to need more. For me, every possibles pouch is a system, is to get you through whatever you're doing that day or time or period. That's just my thoughts on it. I understand a possible's pouch 
And for me, if you're going to carry a possible pouch, it'll have a fire starter kit in it, maybe a multi-tool, some basic little things like that, flashlight, headlamp, yada, yada, yada. But it's not very big and you can't survive on that. If you, everybody's heard of the 10 CCs of survivability. That's a great list. It covers everything you should need in order to survive for 72 hours. It's not a long-term survival plan. That list includes the tools for 72 hours that you can survive on. That's what goes in my possibles bag. But the 10 CCs covers a lot of stuff. Water container, water purification, cover. Those are the big things that, I'm sorry, they don't fit in here. So for me, a possibles pouch really doesn't work. I will use it as a first aid thing. I initially started on this and I was like, it's not going to fit in here. I tried and this will carry everything I need. My first aid camping pouch. I'm going to go through my first aid stuff, see what I got, what I need to get rid of, what I need to update, make notes, and then I'm going to make me my camping first aid kit. So here we go. Okay, I took out uh, what I had left in here when I was trying to do my possibles pouch. Sorry, I had to say it. Certain things irritate me when people say you have to have this and this and this. I, I totally disagree. Nobody's the same. We're all unique. Look at me. Need I say more? <laughs> so let's have a look at this pouch first. And like I said, this is from Roaring Fire. You can see the, the logo here. And this is the Ember Pro is what they call it. And as you can see, it's, it's a fairly big bag. And I kind of like that because I carry a lot of first aid stuff because, yeah, I'm an accident waiting to happen. So I need stuff. It's made of a thousand D Kodora fabric, uh, which makes it pretty sturdy. That stuff can take a lot of abuse, a lot of rubbing and things like that. They don't wear out very quickly, especially at a, at a thousand D. So pretty sturdy, just like the roll bag. The stitching and everything on this is awesome. It is well done, clean, well made. I really like the, their stuff. They do a good job and they really think about their products and are thoughtful and have some great ideas. And this is one of them. I like the idea if you look carefully. Yeah, it has two zippers on it. There's two sides to this. Great idea. Uh, the size is just over eight by seven by about two inches. It, it's not small when you compare it to, uh, this is a fairly big first aid kit. Uh, I don't know how, it's for one to two people. And you can see that it, it's a lot bigger. So you, you can carry a lot of stuff in here. And I'm an overpacker. <laughs> I'm just a paranoid schizophrenic. I need to have everything I think I may need. Got to get over that, tend to overpack. Anywho, it has a nice carry thing on it here. It is Molly compatible. Great idea. You can put this on your pack. You want your first aid easily accessible. You don't want to stuff this in the bottom of your pack and all of a sudden you cut all your fingers off. Okay, I'm exaggerating. Now you've got to dig in your pack, get everything out of the pack. The best place for this is on the outside, easy access. If you put it on the Molly, the way you pack it, you don't want to have to take it off the molly. You can just drop your pack on the ground and open the bag up. That would be the best thing I would suggest if you need quick access. It has these on the front. It has your Velcro, put your favorite badge on thing. And it has these extend these expandable straps where you can roll something up and put it in there. Handy to have. And then it has two zippers. And they use YKK zippers. Uh, their zippers are awesome. They don't stick at all. The way they stitch them in, they do it right. So, and here you can see. See that? It's two separate pouches in one with little pockets and whatnot on the outside. Very cool. And if you look at the first pouch here, you can see it has this mesh, which is the full size of the bag of one side obviously this mesh here and it's kind of like that plastic rubberized stuff pretty sturdy uh, it's a zipper pouch so it opens and you can put things in there uh, that when you open it up they're not going to fall out and then they have two pockets on this side 
so and of course the great thing is this yellow <laughs> if it's dark outside it makes it easier to see what's in here you don't want a dark background there because then you're rummaging around the other side has all this stuff now they have a, a slide pouch on the side here on both sides and then along the front they have all the rubberized uh, straps if you want to call them where you can slide things in to fit in there it does have a little lanyard in here for car keys or something else that you want to put on there maybe a knife or something like that very nice well thought out i like their stuff you want to know how much it costs well they just sent it to me uh, after uh, they sent me the the tool roll and said would you like to have a look at this and i was like absolutely i really like their products in fact if this works for me i'm gonna go back to and have a look and see what they've got and maybe i'll just buy myself uh, another one or a bigger pouch or a smaller one if, and maybe use it as a little EDC uh, possibles pouch pouch fire kit that sort of thing so this is what we have we need to fill it to make me feel safe and happy to be outdoors in case I have an oops like I said I have one two lost it three medical kits Fishing, walkabout, camping. This is the one we're going to replace. It's the bigger one and it has more stuff in it. So we're going to empty this one out and maybe steal from others if there's any expired stuff that I can use. So we're going to open this thing up and it's a mess and it's really tight because like I said, I tend to overpack. These are great kits to buy. It gives you a pouch. And like I said, what you don't need, you take out and you put what you do need. So in the sky... I have a bunch of things. Sterile woven sponges. Do these expire? Yeah, there's no expiration date on them. But it is in a sealed packet. I'm just going to pile stuff up here in different areas. Band-Aids. I have a couple of different ones. These are the butterfly ones. Great for finger cuts. That sort of thing. Just regular Band-Aids. So I'm saying Band-Aid. You don't have to use Band-Aid. There's other makes out there. Whatever you prefer. For me, very important. Bleed stop. I am on medication. One of my medications is a blood thinner. So I can just nick myself and I bleed like you won't believe. A fairly bad cut. i got to be careful. i got to stop that bleeding as soon as possible. And all you do is you tear this packet open. It's like a powder stuff. You just put it on over the cut where you're bleeding. It slows it down significantly. Got that. Cold compress. You know, you twist an ankle, you gotta, you, you bend your finger and it hurts. Cold compress. Shake it up, crush it, and it's a pain reliever. I have tape. Bright orange, easy to see. It's good to be able to wrap. You have a bleeder, you need to put pressure on it. Bleed stop on, you do whatever you need to do and you cover it. Tape this on as tight as you can. To aspirin. A flashlight. These I've had for years. Pen flashlight. Handy to have a dark place, even during the day. Shining on an injury really helps you see, maybe get debris out. And it's a handy thing to have. A lot of towelettes, antiseptic towelettes, information sheets, very important. How to stop bleeds, basic CPR, and all that good stuff. Emergency blanket. People go into shock. You want to wrap yourself up, keep them warm. I have some medical tape here. Just a regular roll. It's kind of like that material stuff. Uh, butterfly stitches. They are, uh, you cut yourself, you can squeeze it together, put it across and the holes are closed. Here I have some tweezers in a, uh, a little thing that came with the kit. Cutting blades. Neat. Handy to have, cut band-aid, cut bandage, whatever. You Just a basic first aid kit. Sunscreen. I have nail clippers. Handy to have. Germex. Uh, moisturizing hand sanitizer you're going to work on yourself your hands are dirty pour this in clean yourself up and sanitize before you touch you or anybody else you might be helping if possible get some rubber gloves a lighter this one needs to be replaced yeah it's got gas but it doesn't have a flint huh that goes there bandage this is sterile elastic bandage wraps it around it's sterile it's elastic you can get things tight on you see that Woohoo! Look familiar? Dorian Knox. Just one of those little keychain ones. I don't know what they call them. And it has scissors on it. Emergency whistle. 
you're in trouble, somebody else is in trouble. Beep, 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 call people to your attention. Hopefully there's somebody there who can help. Super glue, oh yeah, can't go without super glue. Don't go crazy, just dots and just hold it together and band-aid. Toothpicks, you can dig things out. If worse comes to worse, you can make a splint for your finger that'll help you from not bending it. I don't know, there's lots of uses for it. And here we have medication. Uh, fever, heart attack, aspirin. Insect bites or sting, use this and that, so it has all the information there. That was what I had in there. One thing I didn't have in there was my own personal medications. When I get home, I take those out and I use them. Going again, I will add to this. So there you go. Oh, 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 oh. I nearly said there you go. We're all done. Tick remover. Uh, kind of important. And a soda. We get ticky out here. We have another pouch, a bigger pouch. Put it all in here and add to it. I went through all my bags, dumped everything out, and we're going to start to fill this guy. I'll make a list of what I need that I see is not here. Couple of things. Here is what I have. I have bleed stop. I have band-aids. I have sterile wipe, medication, aspirin, ibuprofen, tape, band-aids, insect bug stuff, emergency blanket, cold compress gloves, lip balm, tape, tools. So I'm going to go through each one and put them in here fairly quickly. If you have any questions of why I'm putting things or why I didn't put something or you should add in, let me know in the comments. That's what it's all about. Let's share. So we're all doing the right thing and we're going to be safe out there. For me, first thing, bleed stop. The other thing is I want to get big packages. I want them all in the same place, like these things. The reason I'm doing that, we have big pouches. We have big pockets right in here. Don't really want to bend any of this stuff like my bleed stop and that sort of thing. So I want them in a full slot. There are non-woven sponges with my bleed stop, cold compress. You don't want to bend this over there because you're going to activate it. So they're in that pouch there, the big, the smaller stuff. Obviously here you want to slide things in that you'll need. I need a flashlight and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Lighter. It actually works. Tweezers. This is actually a multi-tool. It's not a great multi-tool, but it's a multi-tool. But it'll do for now. Swiss Tech is a little multi-tool. In Victoria now. Scissors and two blades. Which one am I going to take? I think I'm going to take this guy. Scissors. Got them. They have that odd shape to them. Nail clippers. Tick be gone. That is two rules that I'm going to carry with me. Now, there's one other thing I always put in here, and that is a folder. This is my favorite little buck bank line. You break a leg, you break a finger, you break a toe, you break your nose. You can make a splint and tie it around there and hold it in place. It doesn't take a lot of space. Help me whistle, little blades. That's all the two rules. For me, I'm thinking right away, before I do anything, I'm going to put my rubber gloves on. Clean my hands, put the rubber gloves on. So I'm going to put that with the tools because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to start with tools. On so I'm going to put that together. These are all loose things, but I want quick access to them. They're probably going to be the first, first stuff. And I want it with the bleed stuff because that's normally the thing I look for. Wow, only filled one side. Look at that. That's just one side of the pouch. Got my bleed stop and the bigger stuff in there. Then I've got all my tools in one place. So once I'm ready to do my brain surgery, oh, I'm kidding. I can open the pouch, lay it down like this. There's all my tools. Uh, I have an emergency blanket. That'll go on the other side in the big pouch. Rolled up stuff like this. Hand sanitizer. Need it because this is the first place I'm going. So we're going to see if it'll fit in. <laughs> wow. Ha. Sunblock next to it. Lip balm. They got all different size elastic areas here and we can fit them all in. See this? Aura gel. I've been there. Toothache. Something happens, you bump your tooth or you get toothache. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than that. Here we got it. Here's another roll. We can put that in there. Wow, look at that. It doesn't even fit it that much. Look at that. And that's only one side. So let's see what we can put in the other side and we'll see what's left. I have a, this on the other side, which is the big open zippered pouch. I'm going to put small stuff in there. I want antiseptic towels I can put in there. Band-aid, band-aid, big band-aid, even bigger. Antibiotics, sorry, ordinary. Insect bites, that sort of thing. You can rub it on there. Burn cream. Big finger band-aid. There's butterflies, insect cream, and more band-aids. And I want band-aids. Bandages. Here is two big ones, a small one. 
I'm going to put them in the non-zippered pouches. Tape. Loose stuff like this to that zippered pouch. A plastic bag. Ibuprofen. If you're in pain and you need to get comfortable, good stuff. Too. Super glue. I forgot about that. Can go in this side. Wow. A lot, a lot, a lot of places to put stuff. I'm going to zipper that. Oh, and I'll, I'll put my tick remover on the uh, little slippy thing. You do. Wow. No problem on that side. That closed up. Look at that. That's the part that has all the hardware and stuff in it. Towelettes. I know I'm missing something and I don't know what it is. This has a pouch on the outside. We'll put this in the front pouch so it's quick access. All that stuff, those band-aids and everything like that fit in there no problem. Look at that. Even has tape. Aspirin. Fever reducer. I think I have everything in here and we've still got room for this pouch. So if I forget anything, I'll need to go through my list and just remind myself I'm doing this on the fly. Wow, look at that. And I stuffed that thing. It's got everything I need, except my personal meds, which can go in that open pouch. Just saying. <laughs> Let me open it for you. Let's see what falls out. Nothing. Look at all that. Outstanding. <laughs> now I'm ready to go camping. I'm feeling safe already. And the other side? Look how easy these zippers work. Has all my band-aids and everything. We've got band-aids and we've got bandages. We've got everything in here. We still got an open pouch, which is where my meds are going to go. Ooh. In fact, I think I'm going to add some more band-aids. Why? Because I can butterflies. I'm going to throw them in there. I'm overpacking again. I'm overpacking again. Stop! Stop! I'm very excited. There. Oh, I forgot these. Gotcha. Wow, I can't believe this pack. It's full. It bulges, but there's room being squished. Whoop. There you go. Roaring fire. The Amber Pro. Very nice. Molly, Molly, Molly everywhere. This would go on the outside of my pack for my long trips. More than a day. Overnighters, two nights, car camping. We'll probably stay in my truck. Go to the Boundary Waters. I'm not going to keep you any longer. I've kept you long enough. You have an idea of what I put in mine. You have your. Put what you need. Now I have a bag. More bag. This bigger one, walk about. This littler one will be my fishing pouch. I just got to put all these in, make a list of what I need to top these up. You will be safe out there. And if you're not, make sure you got this. Don't forget. Like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back. I've got knives and whatnot to show you. And now that I have first aid stuff, I feel okay to do that. And here's something that you haven't seen. Remember my last video? I made this guy. Check it out. Look at me. All fancied up and whatnot for one of my little higos. Look at that. I love these things. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.